on our way to Alice. Now Alice is 20 kilometers from Fort Beaufort and Alice has a special place in my heart <laughs> because I was born there. <laughs> yeah, no, that's my hometown. But we left there when I was a young little lad. So, but, and I, I think I've been back twice, I, but many years ago. I'd like to see what it looks like now. Oh, it's going to be a special visit for you. Yes. Do you feel at home? <laughs> I don't know anything yet. <laughs> I don't know anything. Did you leave when you were three? I think we left when I was about four, or just before I turned five. I can remember celebrating my fifth birthday in Bloemfontein. That was it. Alice! This is Alice. Okay, well, Alice is a first for me. Let well, it me feels see. like it's a first for me too. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what it produces. I remember my father used to speak about the Royal Hotel. <laughs> okay. We can certainly try and find it. Uh, I think that's it. That's burnt down there. Oh. No. Oh boy. What is it that the place is burned down here in the area? How do you immediately know that it burnt? You can see the roof. You can just see it. Definitely has a hotel vibe. Oh definitely. I'm sure this was the Royal Hotel. Oh no, this is so sad. Oh you can see a hotel. This was the Royal Hotel. Where do you see a Hotel, look there. Can you see hotel? I can, but I can't see the royal. Uh, they are letters before hotel, but I don't know what they say. If it is the royal hotel, I can remember my parents saying they used to come all time dancing at the royal hotel. <laughs> is that long autumn? Yeah. <laughs> Ballroom. Ballroom dancing, yes. Must have been quite a spectacular building back in its day. I think so. I must be honest because... Look at this. Look Whoa. at all the columns. Yeah. That's sad. That is, eh? And this is the station. Alice even had a station. That doesn't surprise me. People are living here now. Oh, okay. <laughs> hello, hello. Good and you. All right. I'm looking for a name. I know. So am I. That would make my day. To see the Ellis station name? Yes. That would make my day. Wow. There. I don't think we're going to find it no, here. No, definitely not. There's pigs on the other side. Oh, there is the other one. Oh, look at him. Yes. Black pigs are quite pretty. Yes, they are, eh? Well, I clearly don't have a mud bath here in Alice. <laughs> I'm pristine. Building with a little pointy roof. Love that, eh? Yeah. Love that little ornament yep. on top. Sadly, it looks like there is no name board left no for No name you. board for me. Amatola Hotel. Not the Royal. It must have been the Amatola Hotel. That makes sense. That would explain the tea. Yep. 
All right, let's see Alice at half past three on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> Look oh, at this. this looks beautiful. What is this? Some church. What church is this? Ellis United Presbyterian Church. Also nice. Yes. Victoria Memorial Hall. Wow. Mm. It is hectic, eh? Hectic is not the word. It used to be, if I'm not mistaken, it used to be in the old Siskai, Alice. Which was one of the homelands, yes. right? Yes. All right, a little quieter here. Yep. They say the town grew around a military encampment known as Fort Hare and became well known as a mission center with Presbyterian missionaries founding a famous educational center known as Lovedale. We just passed the Presbyterian Uniting Church. Yes. Wow. We don't often see Presbyterian churches. No, we don't. That's interesting. And Lovedale after John Love of the Glasgow Missionary Society. Then during the Frontier War, it was abandoned and the mission resettled on the west bank of the Tiume River. The town name was later changed to Alice. Now who was Alice? Alice <laughs> There's a song like that too. <laughs> living next door. Yes, to Alice. <laughs> I don't think you lived next door to Princess Alice. Oh, okay, okay. The daughter of the British Queen Victoria. Wow, sir. The town was settled in 1824, they say, by British colonists. Crazy. Okay. It's an old town? 1824. Yeah. I don't know if you saw as we were driving down a sign that pointed to Victoria Hospital. Department of Social Development, yes. Did you? I did, yes. So some sports fields over here. Cool. But it's green, but is there anything no, nothing's else going on. left? No. And this is citrus country. Yep. They're walking, peeling oranges. My father used to work on a citrus farm out here. Big one. Interesting. Now. I'm going to go up here. All right. That is the social development. Alice Service Office. Okay. They have a pharmacy. That's great. One doesn't always see that in the smaller towns. No, they don't. Look at this. Whoa.
Digeni Trinity Baptist Church. Digeni, yeah. <laughs> so you always said that it's also known as Digeni. Yes, it is. Or you say Digeni. Digeni, yeah. All right. And I think that's the wall next yep. door. Lovedale College. TVET College, yes. Oh, what would that structure have been, do you think? Oh, I've got no clue. Seeing that it's so far from the station, because I would have gone station route. Definitely. But now I know it can't be. General dealer. Ooh, these are old buildings. Yes. Royal Hotel. Yes, the Royal Hotel. I knew there was a Royal Hotel. My father used to speak about a Royal Hotel all the time. It's now apartments. Oh, is it? No. Oh, it's been converted, eh? Short and long-term accommodation. You wouldn't remember if this was its location. No, though. I wouldn't, man. Pretty about the Amatola Hotel, eh? Yeah. Not exactly square. <laughs> there are many cars parked up front there. Okay. And there's little goats. Some of them are sturdy, eh? Hey? Yep. Mataz socials. <laughs> oh, I must say, you said that with some razzmatazz. <laughs> you know, those cars are like a scrap dealer, I think. They are no more. No. No longer mobile. I'm not sure where the hospital is. No, I didn't see anything. you see that? I see it. What is it? It must be a church with a castle tower. Look at that. How impressive is that? Wow. Uniting Reformed Church in Southern Africa, the Gani Congregation. Yeah. It needs a little bit of TLC. Yes, it does. Definitely does. What an impressive building though, hey? Yeah. I don't see a cornerstone.
here. Very impressive, this Area. bit here in front, yeah. especially on top there, eh? It's like a castle. It does. Victoria Hospital. Is this it? No, I don't think so. Can't be. I think it's over here. Please don't let that be it. Crazy speed bumps, eh? Sure. Which one can't even see. Yeah. Yeah, this is the Victoria Hospital, yeah. All right. Welcome to Victoria Hospital. The legacy of excellence since 1898. That's why I wanted you to come here. Wow. Because it says here, built in 1898, one of the oldest sites in Alice. It still graces the town with its old charm of yesterday. And they say it underwent extensive renovations between 2006 and 2011. Crazy. Oh, that's fantastic. And it's still here yeah, since 1898. Right. And confirmed for us on the board there. And I was born in this hospital. You lie. Yeah. Were you born? Yes. In Victoria Hospital? <laughs> wow! We had to find it yep. then. But not in 1898. Um, no. Two years later. Yep. <laughs> wow, babe. That's quite special. Oh, it is, eh? Look here. <laughs> She's got three little black ones, four little black ones and one white one. <laughs> Pink one, mommy. Look at them. Cuter. Listen to the yes. sound. Oh. <laughs> Calling them. So cute, eh? Is that how she calls them? Yeah. What you're actually telling me is I have to thank the the nursing staff and the doctors in the maternity ward for delivering you so well. Exactly. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, I'm so happy we found it. Brilliant. So this is the Lovedale TVET campus. Isn't it the same as that one that we saw there at um Okip. Okip, yes. Look at these old buildings. I think it's training, vocational, education and training. Yes. No, can't be. Can't be two trainings. No. Technical? Technical, vocational, education and training, yes. yes. see some of these buildings are very old many stone buildings yeah here. dining yeah. hall so these must be hostels right yeah home management these old farm implements yeah Arts centres to the right and 
other residents. offer administration agriculture fine art hand and needle craft fine art pottery this is a beautiful building it is oh this is the admin building yeah oh, stunning so beautiful i'm just glad to hear it's still operational yes myself Magnificent building, yeah. so. Can I just read that plaque? Which one? Here's a plaque. So it says the official opening was in 1939. Wow. I'm glad to see that it's still being used. Eh? Yes, so am I. For a moment we thought that it's been abandoned. Few of the buildings have been destroyed, like that one right in front of us. Yes. Trees are growing through and in and over it. So I thought, oh uh oh But fortunately not. Big grounds, eh? Yeah. Look at the pig again. Oh, they have their piggies here, yes, hey? They do. Cute ones too. Welcome. To the Lovedale Presbyterian United Uniting Church. Welcome to Lovedale Uniting Presbyterian Church. Yes. They sure love their stone. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. 1901. Oh. <laughs> There's a cornerstone. 1901. Incredible. Absolutely beautiful. This used to be the old entrance, and there's the new entrance. Yes, interesting, eh? Yes. I had to charge my battery for a while. I was on the premises of the Fort Hare University and um, we've come to this fort, the old fort. Now this fort apparently was built in 1847. And it was built to house the British soldiers that were here in that time. Look at this. How beautiful is this? It's fantastic that it's been kept. Now this brick structure, yeah, I'm sure is a new one, just to show what it looked like. 
It must probably got destroyed somehow. But there's original stones being used in it. Then, I think it was in 1916. Wow, look at the fort, what it looks like from the top here. Yeah. In 1916, the University of Fort Hare was built around this old fort. And um, it was built specifically to help the black people in the area get university education. And um, our old president Nelson Mandela used to attend this university. So that's got a massive history. That was interesting, eh? Yes, I'm so glad we got to see it. Yeah. I didn't think they'd let us in on the campus grounds. So, very happy about that. Yeah, so am I. Very happy. So there are how many students here? <laughs> the security guy told us 12,000. Which is quite a lot, yeah. eh? They even have their own post office here. And as we drive through, we hear vibes everywhere. Everywhere. There's sports facilities down there. Yes. Look down there. There's the soccer field, rugby field. Oliver Tambo. Yeah, look there. UNESCO, Oliver Tambo, Chair of Human Rights. Wowza. And, um, Alma Mater of President Nelson Mandela. Yes. This is very cool. Very nice. Sun's brighter. Yes. This is a very, very big facility. Well, wow. to house 12,000 students, that's next level, eh? And they probably all live on campus. Yeah. Yes, I think here are the names of their hostels. Mfundueni, Mulefe. Yeah. They must get some exercise in, eh? <laughs> they walk everywhere. I've only ever heard the name. Yes. Exactly. I think these are the main admin buildings. If I check them out, this is a hostel. They have loads and loads of washing. Yeah. This multi story building looks like the main building to me. Yeah, it does, eh? One sees it everywhere you drive in Alice. Oh, it's School of Biological and Environmental Sciences. Wow, is it? Okay. The 
Department of the Arts. And there is Nelson and Winnie. Yep. These look like houses. Yes. It's like a little town on its own, hey? Yes, it is. That's it's also old. That's also. That's what I'm saying. The fort might have been have patches of stuff all over the show. You know? Yes. I think you might be right. They have a concert going on or I think will be starting soon. Yes. They're all carrying blankets and, <laughs> and stuff. Lying on the grass. The only young ones, eh? That's true. Very interesting. Yeah, very, eh? Major party going on there. <laughs> yeah, that was super cool. Very. Very, very interesting. I think one could drive around there for like two hours yeah. and not see everything. <laughs> That's true. Alice, the town where I was born. And how was it? I'm disappointed about the Amatola Hotel. Can you just zoom, I mean, just point your camera to that on the hill there? What do you think that is? No idea. Yeah. But, All right. Um, yeah. No, I'm very happy that we came. Just very disappointed about the Amatola Hotel, what it looks like, because I can remember my dad also spoke about that. And um, but the hospital was great to see, and the great experience was the university. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Very happy to have seen Alice. It's a little crazy, I will say that. Yes. And uh, they can look after their buildings a little bit better. A lot better. 